Hello everyone, uh, apologize for this kind of video and in the car, I, it's not my favorite version of doing videos in the car, but uh, today I simply did not find the time to record and on my way to the night, to the night shift, sorry, which probably by the way, I can publish it, uh, it will be already tomorrow morning. But I have to say that things are not looking good in the Middle East, they are not looking good in the world. It's insanity, it's plain insanity. And like, like I have stated previously, much of this insanity comes when it's not when it's, at least for me, I still have some hope, when it's least expected, at least for me. So, Israel keeps murdering Palestinians with impunity, let's be fair, with impunity. The representatives of, uh, of Europe, for example, Mrs. von der Leyen. I'm, I'm not going to say that she's like the low-cost version of evil on Earth, because it's an overstatement. I think she's not even that. Maybe it's just pettiness. I don't know. It's just utter incompetence or just corruption. I mean, who knows? I, I just say that she's not, she shouldn't be in the position where she is. She, she's, she talks about humanitarian crisis in Gaza, right? But she talks about it like it's something coming out of the, I don't know, an earthquake or something, a hurricane, some natural disasters happen, no oh, humanitarian catastrophe. It's like uh, I go in a camp full of people, unarmed people. I take my, I don't know, M60 machine gun, full loaded with ammunition, and I start shooting everyone. And then the news report, oh, it's a humanitarian catastrophe is happening there. Because this is what is happening. This humanitarian catastrophe is happening because Israel is causing it. Israel has been causing it for decades now. This needs to be said. Just listen to the statement of the Israeli ambassador in, in Great Britain. For her, the Palestinians are born already terrorists. Only the Israeli have children. She, she assumes this and she admits this on TV. When I grew up in the 80s and in the 90s, this was impossible. Anyone, any public figure like this one, with the with the relevance of pub, public public figures like this one, like von der Leyen or this uh, Israeli ambassador, I don't recall her name, they would be fried. They would be put out of service immediately if they would come out and speak like this. In Ukraine, we have the. I don't know, it was a talk show or a podcast or something where you have people, again, I don't know the name of the woman, saying that Israeli children and Palestinian children are in fact different because the Palestinian children are born learning how to kill and how to hate. This is the other ones create wealth and jobs, and, and the other ones just learn how to kill and hate. This is um, genocide conversation, genocide arguments. This is NAGI matter at its finest. Right? I think Mr. with a little mustache here on the middle is he, 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 probably is laughing his ass off <laughs> on his grave now or whatever he is and people are people are buying into this 
or at least not revolting enough not protesting enough although fair to be said there are a lot of protests all throughout the world in favor of Palestine because it is too much to hide you see for example President uh, Sleepy Biden comes out in defense of Israel saying the other team did it the other team <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous it's utter insanity it's it's done by other insane corrupt psychopath or all at the same time people Ursula von der Leyen fails fails utterly to condemn Israel's violence in Palestine and it is it is indeed and this is how I never bought into the arguments the Western arguments in the war in Ukraine because now you see the same people in a blatant situation where there are no doubts plenty of proof I mean overflow of proof of crimes against humanity and what you have oh Israel has the right to defend himself oh Israel has the right to defend himself no breaks like the an old show I used to watch all gas no breaks Israel is in this mode all gas no breaks in the meantime American bases are attacked in Iraq reportedly attacked in Iraq and Syria with missiles and drones the the origin the source of these attacks are not yet known at least to the time of this recording are not yet known but uh, for the outrage that I see in the Arab countries there is the, the powder keg is very close to to explode because Israel is not stopping the United States is sending it's sending military equipment just like that you see how fast was that right already today there were videos of uh, equipment being unloaded into Israel the forces of peace at action this is uh... so escalation is being done uh... Israel yesterday already announced that it might let humanitarian aid corridor be established and then they talk about 20 trucks ready to get in Gaza 20 trucks how many people live in Gaza 2 million 20 trucks of humanitarian aid in a place where everything is needed everything bombed being bombed as we speak how does this how does this fit I ask you how does this fit in your uh, conscience about sense of freedom or sense of democracy of sense of liberty all these values if 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 it's the case that you live in a Western country all these values that they talk about they pound you they pound your head on the media every day with them we are the ones who uphold liberty and democracy, human rights. We fight evil. Yeah, I know it is being a broken record, but every day escalation continues. And uh, uh, another red line is crossed. Of course, Israel is throwing bombs left and right bombing uh, south of Lebanon on the skirmishes with Hezbollah the US sends its might to prevent or to prevent or to provoke I don't know which one is the correct one Iran and the real conflict is uh, is in danger of happening there and uh, a conflict where several nations can be dragged and it can become real serious in the meantime that you have american neocons or neoliberals or whatever people like uh, lindsey graham and 
saying that Israel has the right to defend itself. And by the way, you have Israeli communities, like the settler communities, clapping, menacing journalists, clapping at Gaza destruction. They sit at night, look at Gaza being bombed for entertainment. How sick is this? How sick? You tell me in the comments. So yeah, I went to, through the latest news. I didn't have much time, but escalation is what I could take out of it. Meanwhile, in the Western world or in the European space, you have some politicians with some sense speaking on on behalf of reason. I'm not saying even on behalf of Palestine, on behalf of reason. These are, for example, the Portuguese communists. Or, I don't know which party is it, Claire Daly and Wallace. They have done the best and the most wise feet on the ground, on earth speeches I have ever seen. And they are right in everything they say. Everything they say. On the other hand, you have Mr. Putin and Xi Jinping gathering and doing real statesman work. Doing deals, doing businesses, making plans to prosper. None of these plans involve involve uh, occupation or exploitation. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. I know what you... You might say, ah, oh, but Russia is invading Ukraine. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Russia took a preemptive action against a state who was becoming a menace, and it's still a menace. There, I said it. From a geopolitical standpoint, and this is also, it is written, no country can take care of his own security at the cost, at the expense of another, of a neighbor, for example. I think the Ukrainian society is completely controlled by these people that are controlled and subservient to the, to the US. And this is all a big, 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 big mafia. It's like empty words all the time, lying all the time, pretending they care about human lives, democracy. First thing they done when they took uh, care of Ukraine, when they took charge of Ukraine after the Maidan coup, is that they started to demolish the democracy there. Okay, it was not perfect, a lot of corruption, we know this, but it was a democracy. And they keep demolishing it. They keep sending Ukrainians to the slaughter, not let, not leaving them any choice. They keep letting these neo-Nazi groups run amok within the armed forces, control crucial sectors. And Israel of course, is controlled also by radical right-wing parties as well, which talks blatantly about the extermination of Arabs and Palestinians. We know that uh, history, uh, if you know a little bit of history, and if you don't, it's, it's like it's not a sin, but at least one should admit that it doesn't, and then try to change it, right? I'm not an expert, I'm just a curious. I don't know most about many things, but I, I try. And so, if you know a little bit of history of Western democracies, it's not like they are going around and suing democracy. They are going around and putting in place people that serve their interests, right? 
manipulation, regime change. If in case, just in case, the government they put in power of some country is the most uh, murderous dictatorship, as long as it serves the, purpose, the purposes of the empire, it's what they put in power. Yeah. And this has been done throughout the history, throughout 20th century's history, even before, of course, it's the, the US habits are the continuation of the British Empire, divide to rule, undermine the governments. And yeah, this is a sad, sad state of affairs. So, just a quick update, the Ukrainians are, according to some sources, throwing their last breath on the offensive, trying, according to me, foolishness of doing uh, amphibious attacks throughout the river. For me, this is, this is again, it's sending Ukrainians to the slaughter. Of course, they have full support of the West. All the equipments, engineering equipments, are from Germany, France, whatever. We are indeed, indeed, making the world a worse place. We, the supposed democracies, think about it, right? Think about it before you judge countries like China or Russia or Iran by that matter and use that state of mind to accept everything that the military Western power does to it afterwards I ask you one last question Please answer me in the comments this one, if you can, of course, <laughs> if you want. Tell me, tell me one country, one, I just need one, that it was better off after the US or Western intervention. One. Let's throw it like, for example, not to make not to make it too extensive since World War Two. Since the U.S. claims to go there and fight whatever, make democracy. Tell me one country that it was better after this process. Okay, off to my night shift. You know this is only a proletariat opinion. I'm just a worker. What do I know? I know one thing. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.